right, and we are back. I know. Yeah. yeah. And we are, yeah, we are back. And um, as we said earlier, we know that a lot of us are at home right now because of the COVID-19 epidemic. And what that means um, <laughs> is that we got a lot of cooking to do because... Um, as we said earlier, we know that a lot of us are at home. <laughs> so, so, no, so, Sean, you can't listen to us both places. Yeah, I'm sharing, I'm sharing, I'm yeah, sharing. No. Yeah, and if uh, you're not lucky enough to live with a chef, you <laughs> might be needing some tips <coughs> on how to get uh, through the epidemic while also having some great food. So yeah. here to share some tips about how you can have um, a, how you can cook up some delicious meals in your house while you may be under the current lockdown. We have, um, you know him, and you like him, one of our uh, most popular guests. We've got Chef Sean Quillen joining us this morning to give us some tips. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, senor. How are you? I'm great. And you? I am good. Yeah. <coughs> we, so we're talking about food, right? A lot, of, a lot of us are at home. A lot of us don't know how to cook. Um, so what's oh, the... Don't say that, Gavin. You're a great cook. Well, I know, I see this is more for the benefit of the viewers <laughs> and, uh, and, and you, I guess. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah, we're, we're, so, so if you're like Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a lot of help. <laughs> where, where do we start? Yes. Well, why the first thing I happy because a lot of people never know that they go cook and suddenly they're forced to cook. That's yep. right. And look at cockroach you run out of oven when <laughs> like they, 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 the first time they start, they light the thing and they say, I happy, I happy. I've never had so much requests for recipes. Oh yeah. I mean it's crazy. Well some but people you know, some people use their stove as an ex cupboard, no? So yeah, <laughs> I know. That's, that's you know, you turn it on and you realize that there are like three pots in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean I keep saying and I will tell anybody bar none without apology that I'm happy to be quarantined in the best country in the planet right now because we have everything and the prime minister said we are so sustainable and i will defend that to to the ends of the earth because we are and we have no problem feeding ourselves none whatsoever we could get this pandemic plus one hurricane and no current and no while we still are good i tell you that okay. um but don't say things like that again please I, <laughs> I can't. what, I'm, what I'm saying is that we're good darling yeah and, and things simple as rice and beans or beans let's just start with beans okay right. uh, how many ways can you make beans and how many beans do we have in the country we have red beans black beans black eyed peas split peas lentils uh and how many ways can you make it you can make it into soup like i said if you make it long water <laughs> you could stretch it if you blend it you could uh, make it uh what you call it a refried bean yeah with delicious coconut oil and you serve that for breakfast. If you make it dry, you can put it in a thing of panades. Mm -hmm. You know, speaking of, I mean, beans and flour and flour is versatile again. Yeah, with a little bit of ingredients like shortening, flour, baking powder, you can make fried jack. Mm -hmm. And if you reduce the amount of shortening you put in the flour, you could make tortilla, you know? Um, and if you take out the shortening, uh, sorry, the, the baking powder, and you put yeast, now you have things like bread. And then you are saying, but I'm not going to know a recipe, and you go online and you find food network and stuff. You could always take those recipes and you could substitute coconut milk for the water, and you got Creole bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes, man, of course. And then um, if you just put some spices like cinnamon, brown sugar, nutmeg, like today, the Holy Thursday, you know, we are eating yes. And I Are promise that after any? this show, I will share a fast one recipe on my Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Because again, that's been number one requested. Yeah, but Sean, you're you're an experienced chef, and we well we know you well enough to know that you you don't like sticking to a recipe. <laughs> no, it's very hard, you know. <laughs> How do you help us in? So people are at home, they're trying to be creative, and you're right, you know. Um, I think we're all looking for recipes, trying out new recipes. Is there anything we need to know about? what we could do wrong or what we need to make sure we do right. That's a great thing. You can never do anything wrong. Yeah. I mean, if the rice army is this sticky, so what? <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah. if children can get involved. I had a baby making panadas for the first time. You can't go wrong, darling. You can't go wrong. You're at home. I mean, 
uh, it, nothing wrong will happen. <laughs> like I say, if, if you don't pop up, then it becomes flour tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that one. You know, people are judgy about fry jack if your fry jack doesn't puff up. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's not bad. And um, again, speaking of tortilla, then you have masa and yep. mince and corn tortilla. And, I mean, the, the like, I know a corn tortilla factory thing at every district. And every corner it's like mm -hmm. a starbucks right they buy every corner yeah. look at which culture mm -hmm. and that's an essential service so that's open and you can make again you could make it uh, if you flatten it it becomes salbutes mm -hmm. if you have a chicken soup that you made and you shred the chicken i mean you're gonna stew chicken you two days now you eat the stew chicken third day you shred it man you put it you make a salbutes mm -hmm. and if you put the black beans or a little bit of fish or even canned tuna yesterday somebody sent me a recipe Making panades out of cantuna, nothing wrong with that. Mm. Yes, um, tacos. Um, also, I should tell you, we have a lot of cultures like the Maya and the Kechi. Um, they make a thing called atole, which uh -huh. is if you take the same masa, right, and okay. you dissolve it in water and cook it on the stove with a little bit of sugar and leave milk, you have a thing called atol. So you could take masa and drink that. So that's like a custard? Kind like of? a custard. Yeah, and you, you know they have corn starch. You could make a custard from corn starch. But if you take the masa, you have atole. No, you take cassava starch, which is called darara in Garifuna. You have a thing called saho. Mm. Saho is simply starch from the cassava mixed with a little bit of coconut milk, sugar, cook that. It gets thick. You call that saho. No things bad. You have picnic at the house. You don't have money to clean. You could give them a little cassava star um, porridge, you know. That's good for the baby. Yeah. But how do you now, how do you get the starch from the cassava? Clearly, I mean, this is a novice. So, yes, you <laughs> take the like cassava, gra you like grate it. Grate it. Uh -huh. you, you know how you make a, you know how you make coconut milk? You take yes, and you grate the coconut, you mix coconut. it with a little bit of water, you steep it, and you strain it. Yeah. The same way you take the cassava, you you grate it, and you mix it with water, you strain it. Okay. You can mix it with coconut milk. You strain a straight thing and you put a little bit of sugar and it starts to get thick. Okay. And that's saho. Oh. No, down south they have um, we have bananas, right? You can mm -hmm. make banana flour. In Creole, you call that kum kante. You take the green banana, you mm -hmm. slice it thin, you put it in the sun for four days, sun dried. You take it and you pound it, you mash it into a flour. You can take a cornmeal and grind it into a flour. Huh? You from there you have a porridge again. In California, you call it gungude. In Creole, it's concante. No, you don't have green banana. You're going to get plantain. You could take green or ripe plantain, and you're going to have a porridge called guento. Okay. Guento, yeah. <laughs> and if you don't got plantain, and you got banana, and you mash up the banana, you're going to have a dish called lueto. <laughs> These are all Garifuna dishes, right? Yeah. yeah. So you mash the banana, but what do you do with it? You just mash it up into a porridge, darling, like uh, like baby food, you know? Okay. And especially when planting mm -hmm. gets ripe, 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 and black, or they marry, then we would throw that away, but not in Belize. That's when the starches has turned into sugars, mm -hmm. and you could throw that on fire and roast that or fry that in a coconut mm -hmm. oil. Hey, and if you have a little bit of cauliflower, you could take some cauliflower, and you could take the ripe planting, and you could cook them and put it in a blender and blend it. You have a cauliflower and ripe planting soup. Wow. And it, and if you reduce the water, you have a puree like a mashed potato. So you have now a cauliflower and ripe plantain puree. Mm, that's an and interesting soup. That would taste good. So but you can also make things like fritters too, out of like your banana or your... Yes, you could make banana fritters, conch fritters, but conch is out of season. Yes. No, if you don't have conch, you could take corn, corn yeah. kernels of the cob and make a corn fritter. Okay, you I don't know how to do that one. Soup Kini fritter. How would you, you do make, that? Same butter flour, uh, the same butter for a for a fritter. But you, instead of putting conch, you just put the kernel of the corn in there, mm -hmm. and then you have a fritter. They have things called loroco. This is most Salvador cuisine, like pupusas. You could put a loroco, which has a little flour. You could put that. You have a, a again, it's vegetable base. No talk about soups. Soups endless. You uh -huh. take carrot, you take ginger, you take coconut milk, you have a coconut carrot, a ginger soup, you have the cauliflower soup, you have neck and back that things red. You you make a stock with some celery and carrots and you make a stock. From that you put lee, acid and onion, you have escabeche. Mm -hmm. If you put mm -hmm. black ricardo, you got chimole. 
if you don't got the chicken and you put you got the ground pork, you know, you see that ground pork, you got chicken there. Without the chicken, minus the chicken, you got a thing called picadillo. Mm. This is not mestizo culture, right? Yes. No, don't, don't salt it, catch it on the more pan. They put red ricardo with yard fowl and you call that caldo. I mean, boy, and then you 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 have soups can done, man, and then you you uh, you have the tortilla, and then again, the corn tortilla is so versatile. But you want to make something sweet, don't in PG they have a dish called choco, which is a sweet corn tortilla like a like a little biscuit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. How do you Martin make that? Boy, very uh, labor intensive again, but it's <laughs> master the sugar, and you 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 put it on a comal, a hot comal, and you eat very very thin. And it's it's like a little biscuit, man. You know the Easter right now we're not Easter egg, but we got we we can make we want dessert. And up north in mestizo culture, that same sweet tortilla is called iswa. And if you know talk about porridge, and we talk about cassava porridge and we too and le too and saho and atole, but you only got rice. You can make a rice porridge called maja blanca. Oh. And in other names you call it lamage or blamage, which is British influence. Huh? Okay. And if you only got flour for flour lamb, well, that we eat. You know, I'm going to call that pulali. <laughs> and if you take that same flour lamb, you put it in your split piece, you call that dumpling. Mm. Why? Well, I tell you, we could go on and on, man. And this is what all Belizean cuisine. Man. What are, so, you know, a lot of people right now are like looking, um, one, you know, movement is kind of restricted, so people are staying home. They're looking for things that last really long. And they're looking to get like the most, you know, out to stretch their dollar, um, especially in these times. Yeah. So, what are some yeah. of the like the real basic things that you think that people should have in their household that could one last and that are very versatile? Yeah, of course, beans will last a long time. Yeah. Rice, you know, will last a long time. You know, cassava bread that they need fridge. But yeah, <laughs> start fish. You got a piece of fish or choose salt for that. Put it here. You saw that will last. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, the same, the, the, the technique of taking the green banana and your, your sun dry, yep. it's almost preserving it, you know? We don't, like I said, we don't need fridge. But um, we could go on again. We know we want to talk about desserts. We have sweet potato pudding, mm -hmm. sweet potato grated, put sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, coconut milk, and you have a sweet potato pudding. In a Jamaica, can you Jamaica? Man, it's like a <laughs> Jamaica. You wrap that on me, a blanket leaf, you call that blue dress, right? Yeah. <laughs> And in the garifuna now we take and we forget the sweet potato, but we put cassava and now we have plastic pudding mm -hmm. or cassava pudding. And we take the same butter, we put it in a plantain leaf, we steam it, we call it dani. And we eat it with some ginger and milk. And, oh man, it's endless, man. I can hear that. The food I'll goes on, the food we go on and on. So we <laughs> and we then take the coconut milk and make soup and we don't, uh, and up in uh, uh, San Pedro, they have two dishes called samchak and chechak. And chechak is a fish soup with coconut milk. And if you put recado in it, it's called samchak. Mm -hmm. And of course, the garifuna ga hodot, sere, tapo, bundiga. Yeah. And we got matel put. And you put the yellow ginger, it's called takari. And all of these versions are just the, the addition of coconut milk, seafood, lamb crab. Right now, I mean, I, I know that Easter time right now, you know that guana in a season, right? They put all the egg in it. <laughs> <laughs> So that bad man. I mean, okra. I say fish there. I say habanero. Oh man, we could talk all day about Belizean. We can talk all day about Belizean food, but you gotta tell us how to do it, man. Because I, you know, what's interesting? I find people doing labor-intensive uh, recipes. Like I see so many cinnamon rolls, mm. and people are kneading and trying all these things out for the first time. Um, mm -hmm. What would you say is a good recipe for people to try at home over the weekend? One that maybe, you know, you have more time and the ingredients are easy to find um, that you could try at home. I don't know. Maybe you should give me the ingredients. I um, Again, we all have the flour and the beans and the rice. I think that's fairly, it's, I mean, people have recipes and they will tell you like one cup of flour to one te teaspoon of baking powder maybe that's a good starting point you can go around oh, and finally yeah. you just put the water and then you can have to tell you how much water you know how much water you put till you not you don't have to labia and you not to dry yeah. i mean um <laughs> Says again, the chef, if, right? yeah <laughs> and if you again put coconut milk instead of water man and you know if you bake that it becomes a uh, johnny cake right <laughs> mm. uh, and you know who I, i've been following on social media everybody they make fire hat now too uh -huh. Coconut husk. 
Watch out, if you, you have a conventional stove and you want fire hot taste, take a coconut house, light it, throw it in the oven with your cook, with your bread while you bake. I mean, I'm sure you have some leaves smoke on it, too, right? Oh, <laughs> wow. I didn't think of that. And you're going to add the pickle one for cleanup the next when you're done. Yes. <laughs> cook okay. with the children, too, man. They make them cook. So you're going to make hot cross buns today? Yes, I'm going to put a recipe for hot cross buns because I number one requested, especially because it's Easter. Yeah. And again, you can put that in a Mennonite pot, put it in the, um, you put fire on top and the bottom, and you put it in a fire hat. It, it, it's just amazing, man. I mean, I no worry about. We we really we really good, yeah. we're really good indeed. If we have rice, we have the Mennonites. You realize we have everything. You know, we have enough that we could even export to other Caribbean countries. So because of them, I mean, we're good. Man. We're good. We have milk. We have. Well, if you can look on a cross bunny now. Last week I was isolated on an island. Mm -hmm. Oh no! I mean, it was really. I they drink rainwater and we cook up that that cross bun was cooked on a fire hat with driftwood and coconut husk. I, I was having a great time. I only had to come in because I never got internet for talk to you today. <laughs> <laughs> and your commitments are important. Oh, so yes, darling. Here's, yes. here's the thing, though. Um, for people who don't have experience baking, and I'll be honest, yes. I'm one of them, kneading can be a, like a scary process. So you don't know if you're going to do it right, if it's going to come out really hard, if it's going to taste good. Well, how, uh, what, what are your tips on things like that? Um, the, a good one to do is would be um, Johnny Cake. Because Johnny Cake will tell you that you shouldn't knead it too long. And you shouldn't touch it too much with your hands because your hands are warm. And so I think Johnny Cake is a good recipe, uh, something to make. Because literally, you just the less you touch it, the better, the more flake it comes out like a, like a biscuit. So, um, Wait, so are could, you telling me if I don't know how to knead, don't bother try? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, and they tell you that if you you feel intimidated by needing the good things, you don't have to need. That's still delicious. <laughs> okay, so let's say I feel adventurous and I want to try to learn to need. What are the I, basics here? I really don't see how you can mess it up because <laughs> if they tell they tell you need it. For example, you try it in a kitchen and you you need till it pulls away from the side. That's the way you look. Okay. I mean, the more you work it out, the frustration, you know, with your, you know, your sponsor, you don't tired as you take it out of the floor, beat it. Yeah. I mean, I don't see how yeah, to go around. Yes, the more you beat it, the more you beat it, the better it becomes, man. I mean, it's really not that bad. And you know, when it when it come out of the oven, you say, "Wow, you proud of yourself." I mean, no one, we are, uh, the pan panaderia, they were locked down now. Make everybody they make their own bread. <laughs> All but right. it's really not difficult, man. Okay, so what else are you? You're getting recipe. You're getting requests for hot cross bun. Hot so give cross people bun. the kneading advice. Just keep on working the dough itself. What yes. ad, What else have you been offering in terms of advice? Well, people have been like crazy. It's amazing. People, watch out! I got a girlfriend. We have a six family. We want to see me know after so much years. I feel like essential service. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's amazing. But no, <laughs> I look between a tab and I was so scandalous. So. I know you I'm, too, my lady. Yeah, you look far from it, darling. So, but okay. yes, but guess what? If you don't know how to cook and you want to learn how to cook more, guess what? I think just like Bill Gates had this, you know, he may don't talk about this long time. I think I'm on a good path because I've been talking about cooking no barcode for a long time and inspired the decent cuisine. Yep, I have no fear that the border could be locked down because I don't need no asparagus right now. I don't need no apples with a barcode and a sticker on it because everything comes from my country. And all they want to do, they want to do why they're afraid they, they, they're upset that they don't have imported it. That's not a problem. Um, and if you want to get tips, you can go and grit with this cooking where we have a lot of episodes from Marlene, yeah, from making of recado to tamales and boyos. Um, we have, um, find me on my Instagram and social media because I've been putting a lot of, even if it's fires and all, like this morning I put something about nutmeg. Mm. And the first thing Belize and I say, we never know nutmeg grow the Belize. Yeah. Of course it And it doesn't Belize. look like nutmeg either. It, it, it no, because it, it has the, the carp and the, the yeah. mace and it's a nut. And, and I mean, you see what I tell you about no barcode, we never need it from that brand on that shelf. We have cacao chocolate we have everything we need and on a positive note i could tell you that you realize that even the fish they're happy because they were bounce back right now we know they harass them too much mm -hmm. even uh shark ray alina they see people right now you know that bad you know 
<laughs> <laughs> so let me let me ask you. You are well known for taking uh, traditional recipes and kind of upgrading them into something um, gourmet. Tell us about some of your your tips or tricks of what you can do to maybe just enhance whether it's a pot of beans or a pot of rice or um, whatever it is, little flavors that we didn't know we could add that would make a world of a yes. difference. Yeah, I mean, it, again, a lot of people are on, um, they're trying to Google recipes and the first thing that would get frustrated that the thing called for, I mean, really somebody like last week asked me, I wanted to make this broccoli bake, but the thing called for frozen broccoli and then it's like, man, I knock my head and now you know that emoji when knock your head so? Yeah. Or well, buttermilk. Fresh, but why do you want to stress out yourself because you can't find it because the recipe said <laughs> learn to substitute. And for example, beans. Beans, why well, if you take some ground meat, you could make a chili. You could yeah. enhance it. Nothing nicer than pigtail. Of course. Watch ya. You see the um, queso or any blanco? Any smoked meat. Any smoked meat, queso blanco, crema. Put some of that, that's uh, like an uh, authentic uh, Guatemalan because it's yeah. so delicious. The, and all these things are still on shelves here right now. Um, okay. It's, so it's we can the, add some some meat to our beans and that, that upgrades it. But yes, don't be scared so to give us your secrets. Nobody can taste your cooking right now but you. No, I mean, I have no secret. I will never have a secret. But again, you, you read a recipe that calls for sour the cream. Rice? Something calls for sour cream. And then a French word for sour cream, like creme fraiche. Uh -huh. You start to stress yourself because you got creme fresh. Well, my dad's man, I'm the crema and the, and the queso. <laughs> I, I'm guilty when I can't find when when it, something calls for buttermilk or heavy cream. Yes, it's buttermilk. Like... You just take some milk and put a little bit of lime uh, vinegar. You put yeah. buttermilk with yeah. curling. You know. There, you, you know, Gavin, Gavin beat you to the answer on that one. Uh huh. Uh, what about pies, right? Pies. Uh huh. Well, condensed milk and lime make lemon pie. That's it. That's as simple as it is. Watch yeah, out. but the Taco. meringue isn't as easy. I just tell you about pie, cassava, grated coconut milk, sugar, blanc, blanc, allspice, cinnamon, can go wrong. The recipe cannot be bad. With a little bit of butter, you have a pudding. You have a, you have a uh, sweet potato pie. I mean, uh, Thanksgiving, that's what I like better eat. Um, pumpkin, we have pumpkins. We have, uh, we could substitute, uh, hey, you know, papaya. Can be, you could make a candy out of papaya. You call that a conserva. Just sugar. Panela. You know what's panela? No. Rapadura. The, the computer, the answer me with a papaya and all. <laughs> Here's what I found. Papaya. What is, what is panela? Panela is called rapadura, which is the, the uh, it's a, uh, like a molasses. Mm. It's sold at the market. Yeah. It's great, you know. And speaking of molasses, I mean, man, what a country to live in and we make with one rum too, you know? Well, what else we want, man? Speaking of rum, you could take cassava, sweet potato, and make a fermented beverage called hiu. You put ginger, sugar, the, 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 the aru, the edge of the cassava bread making process. It's called hiu, H I U. Okay. And that's a cassava and sweet potato beer almost, you know? So, okay. Then that's even really, really <laughs> Bad man, too expensive for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you said you've been doing some cooking on your social media as well, so that people can um, learn along with you, right? Are you keeping it simple for you know these beginner chefs or yes, chefs who are brush, dusting off them their their skills? Yes, it is very simple. I mean, it's what we have really. I mean, look at me right now, Agawa. See, ya? this are what well, yam pide aside of me. I want sweet, but how pretty they are thinking. They are thinking I know, Yampi is pretty. Yampi has season. Guess what he has season right now? Mango is coming into season. Yes, the, just yesterday, I <laughs> some, um, some, 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 some um, blossoms. Yeah. You know that the village of Hopkins, by next two weeks, will have it all over the ground. I already have mangoes. Right? Mango is coming into yeah. season. Cashew is coming into season. Guess what? If it wasn't for the pandemic, we would have been ex um, having cacao fest as we speak. You know? That's the thing with nature. It never stop. It's still the goal there and they give you everything we ever need. I went to the market, I found tambran. You see now, back oh. tamarindo. Tambran, you just put water, you could drink it, you could make a tambran and you have a piece of meat, you put a tambran sauce. And guess chutney. what? If you want recipes, 
Find me on Facebook, Chef Sean Feeling, on Instagram, Chef Sean Feeling. On so, what Facebook. you're saying, Sean, is that people can put in their requests and you will walk us through the recipe on your social. Yes. Circle. Yes. And we also have been, will be sharing those videos that we did again on, like you said, Great Ladies Cooking. Yes. And uh, we'll visit all of these things back. It's time to, you know, I'll load it up on Netflix and we got nice television shows right here with local stuff, man. Nice. You know, look at that. So, okay, I'll put in my request. I want yes. a Sean Quillen version of a fudge. Fudge? Not plain fudge, but a Sean Quillen version. It has to be upscaled. Well, fudge. <laughs> <laughs> um, but guess what? What would be your request, Gavin? You what? say fudge? You take a your bile, your condensate, you got cal caramel, right? Yes, yeah, I know. What if you take some sugar and you brown it, caramelize it, right? Uh -huh. so put it for the fire, start again nice and brown. And then it's, it, in, in the United States of America, they put some heavy cream, right? Or some recipes will call for heavy cream. We will put coconut milk. Uh -huh. And I tell you, this thing is delicious, you know. It tastes like toffee. I'm, I love you could toffee. Go and make, you could go and make it right now, brown sugar or sugar till it's nice and caramelized. Put some coconut milk and right to the end after you don't stir and stir and stir, you drop some cold butter. Ooh. And watch, you know that butter in another blue can? That nice one? Yeah. You put that three ingredients, leave it as salt. You have fudge. You have a wonderful toffee. And if you want to make it really sexy, you drop some local rum in that boy. Make it flame up. Okay. Aye, 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 aye. All right. So it yeah. sounds really great. Now I want to see you do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. The only thing that probably still bring us are red beans. <laughs> beans, can't I eat beans all day. <laughs> so I'm well, apart from uh, apart from the cross bun, what else? Uh, what what are you gonna be cooking this Easter? What's your like Easter dinner gonna look like this year? Right, well, I do the bun. Um, actually, I'm just cooking what I have really planted together, nice and black right now. Watch out, I love it. You see, anything will look like mole. Hmm. That we know it. That's right. And I even need for fry this year coconut oil. I'll show it on the fire right now. Yeah. It is delicious. It smells nice and overripe. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, what you know? Um, I just eat I eat what I have. I mean, but uh, so you're what eating is a lot of beans. A lot of beans. I mean, I got natural social distancing. Nobody walk around me right now. <laughs> 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 well, the good part is that we get to see you through technology at least, and uh, yes, now sir. that people know that you'll be cooking up some recipes, including a uh, hot cross bun. No, 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 no. Yes, I, I'm gonna put some. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put the Johnny cake recipe up. I'm gonna put the cross bun recipe up and really anything and you know what other chefs this morning i saw eva share a bread recipe okay i saw i saw food anthropologist lira putting up some delicious cacao Ooh, yeah. PG. this morning i share one post from the manate man jamal about he's eating stone bars fried jack and beans in a manate right now oh, wow. and up north you call it chiwas but yeah, everybody okay. shares stories, which is just so for the amazing. hot cross bun for the people will, that they want to make today. Like this, what do you like have this. to go buy? Wait, what ingredients you need? You need flour. You need a little bit of yeast. You know, a fermi pan yeast in the bean, in yeah. the box. You need some sugar, some some all spice, nutmeg, just spices, and that's all you need. A little bit of butter for shortening, or you can put coconut oil. You know, all, that's all you need. A little bit of patience and you bake that. If you don't got oven, you put it in fire. All right. Perfect. Well, there you go. So you don't have a request for a recipy, Gavin? Um, I'm tr I mean, the cross bun was really what I was looking uh. for. I've never made that. So. Cross bun going up. Guess what? You have a fire for Instagram. No, this right. is good. All right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have a bake off. We'll see who makes the better cross bun between you and Gavin. Yes, man. <laughs> of done. course, it'll only be visual because yeah. we can't see you guys to taste it. <laughs> Well, it's good to see you, Miss Marilyn. It's All fun. right. It's great to see uh, you too, Sean. And I know right now people will really be reliant on uh, you sharing yeah. your skills. I'll scratch my head now. I'm going to find it to choose. No, but really, I'm going to do some. Um, and actually, I've been following other chefs and they've been doing a lot of live uh, cooking. Yeah. yeah. So I have to do it, man. I can't, yeah. uh, I can't be And they're together. doing all comfort food there. and stuff like that. I've followed a few of them that I like. Yes, yes. I'm going to do some live cooking and answer any questions again. I'm sorry for the people that are locked up and the Belizeans that are brought because they want to take the liquor right away, they breathe fresh air and they put a lot of beautiful stuff and then they stress out, they say, lock up in our apartment, feel like we're clear up the street, breathe the <laughs> one air. But you know what? I love being in Belize right now, man. Seriously. Her. I'll be a man in right? Belizean, yeah, don't be attractive. Ay, 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 man. Well, we are glad to see you safe 
and we are looking forward to seeing more cooking from Sean. Uh, you can yes. find him on his social media pages on Instagram and Facebook. And today you can expect a hot yes. cross bun. Hot cross bun, we're not ready now. All right. Thank, Thank you, Sean. You. Have a good day. You too, boy. All right, stay safe.